There's two very similar corridors, and the first one was the one into the main mosque area, and that was smashed through. This is a different corridor, and they're trying to push their way through it because we think this is what leads upstairs, and it's difficult. And then you come across, and you can see that there's real concern about what's going on higher up. And you've got plain clothes in here, police. And what's that? Well, at first time I saw it, I thought it was tear gas, but um, it dissipates too quickly. I don't know what it is, forgive me. But yeah, you see, what happens now, there's real tension here. Man with a handgun, centre of screen. In a moment, you'll see a man coming back out, covering his face, which again does suggest some form of tear gas or pepper spray or something. And then there's a whole bunch of uh, bangs, which I think are thunder flashes. Actually, that could be that could be uh, gunfire. It's too loud a noise, for, uh, pitch loud pitched for uh, tear gas, uh, but the thunder flashes are actually louder than that. But they have been using thunder flashes and, and sound bombs to try and clear people. So there's still absolute chaos in there at this point. They then bring the people that they've arrested inside out to be confronted by an angry mob of of people that support the narrative which I just explained the government's view. Ordinary civilians gathered outside to try to attack the people that came out uh, because they, they agree that the Muslim Brotherhood are extremists and uh, needed to be taken out. And this is the incident, it is said, may have triggered the assault. Uh, the authorities say they were fired at from the mosque and responded like this. And that is what triggered, a few minutes later, the assault on the mosque.